The last two decades have been characterized, as has been said by many speakers here today, by state dominance at the expense of individual freedom. And it's been at a time when every time you pick up the Tory newspapers and watch the BBC tampered with by Tebbit and other Tory ministers, we hear about the so-called Thatcher drive for individual freedom. It's been the very opposite. We have gone through very dark days. Dark days that have been characterized by a succession of immigration laws that results in people like Viraj Mendes and others being hounded by the state and by the forces of law and order. Individual freedom being trampled on. We heard earlier this week from that trade unionist at GCHQ how the liberties of people were trampled on there too. Collective bargaining rights taken away by Tory legal eagles who preserved the closed shop for themselves. We've even now got a situation where one of my colleagues has told me that they're going to have a ballot to take industrial action and they've got to check the ballot paper out with the lawyers. These dark days have resulted in the Guildford Four fighting to get the right to hear their, have their case here again. Still stuck in jail. And they got there by a combination of the prosecuting counsel, Michael Havers, now the Lord Chancellor, and the man that was leading the operations is now heading up the Metropolitan Police. Dark days indeed. Forced confessions, both promoted. But they and the others like those in Birmingham, the six there still in jail. We've had strip searching and diplock courts. We've got restrictions on picketing and roadblocks when miners and others decide to go on strike. Not to be outdone, we've got other sections of the judiciary riddled with Freemasonry, unelected judges, <laughs> complete, complete with their arcane language and kinky clothes, <laughs> meeting on Sundays during that miners' strike in order to sequestrate the funds and the membership of the NUM. I'll tell you what we ought to do. It's not in these resolutions, but it's an idea for John Smith, the Shadow Chancellor. We ought to be bringing back some of that money that's been invested overseas, dodging tax in Britain. Let's sequestrate some of that. They've set an example. We ought to use it.